So the plans are in this video to kind of finish up this piece here. So you can see I've already trimmed off the excess around it. Just kind of got it mocked up right now. If you missed the last video where I made that thing, I just used a mold that I made, laid up some carbon fiber, a little vacuum bagging. Uh, got all the details in that last video. You can go check it out. Let's gonna see, oh. So that's like the excess that I trimmed off of it. And uh, it was just a rough trim. So it used to be like that. And now I kind of got it roughed, trimmed. You can see it's still not perfect. Uh, I've already marked some of the holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill those, kind of put some bolts in there. It's gonna give me a little bit better idea of where I need to go with it. And then uh, what I wanna do is start sanding on this thing. Maybe get some clear on it. We gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount the throttle body. So yeah, that's what we're doing in this episode. This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by Kill Fab Clothing Company. Find all the latest Fab Forms merch at killfab.com. So, if uh, if you missed it, got some new stickers on the site. So, got some new uh, Do Work Sun stickers, little slaps for the welding helmets or whatever you want to put them on. Um, I've got some Troublemaker ones coming. And some more Kill Fab ones coming as well. Right now, though, the uh, Do Work Sun decals are free with the purchase of a t-shirt. Now, I'm not saying you have to buy a t-shirt. You can just go buy you some of those if you want them. My plans, like I've mentioned, are really to try to step up my game as far as giving you guys stuff. Um, try to work out some special deals, too. I might hit up Furic and see if he'll give me some special deals on some cups that I can sell on the site. Uh, yeah, so anyway, stay tuned. Y'all go follow... Uh, killfab.com, Instagram, Facebook. Like I said before, all the deals, I'll be posting there first for those folks that follow those pages. And then I'm sure you'll see them uh, within the YouTube stories or the Fab Forms Facebook or the Fab Forms Instagram, whatever. So the thing that's gonna be nice is that I still got this mold so I can actually take that piece, turn it upside down and slide it back in this mold and it'll allow me a place to kind of hold it while I work it. And then the plans are for the throttle body. So this is the billet piece that I've got that I'll be running on the Bibster. I've already got a, a V-band tacked on it. And uh, the way I'm gonna secure this thing to that upper piece is I don't wanna thread that carbon. I don't wanna do anything like that. So what I've done in the past is I'll make a steel backing for it. Um, weld some uh, nuts on the back, some like quarter 20 nuts and then actually make a plate that's the same sharp shape as the throttle body itself and epoxy it on the inside and then you bolt the throttle body on the outside and it basically sandwiches all that stuff together the carbon all that stuff sandwiched together so probably gonna just use this right here some plate steel i've got i've already got it marked i'll cut it out roughly with the plasma kind of cut the hole pretty rough and then what i'll do is bolt it to this thing and clean it up and get it all dialed in I think on the upper section of this deal, like up in here, it's gonna be so tight that I'm probably gonna have to like grind it away around that nut that goes up in there just so I can get it up as high as I possibly can. I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, tight on space, so that's the plan. I'm gonna start doing that. We're gonna cut this, get it situated, epoxy that thing in there. We can cut that front hole. We can get the throttle body mounted and kind of take a look at where we're at. You gotta know what you wanna do. You gotta dedicate yourself to it. You gotta wake up thinking about it. Go to work thinking about it. Go to bed thinking about it. You gotta dream about it. I put my life on this. Hand to God. Other hand on my chest. I like these odds. I don't play by the rules. No one does. I butter both sides of my toast, low pump, just because. You chase the golden arrow and watch the archers mark up in the sky. Don't think these simple favors will let you backtrack straight to simple times. You gotta know, like you know gravity, that this is what's gonna happen in your life. First is a dream, then you 
take action. All right, so that back plate's done. Basically, I just kind of bolted it on there and uh, welded those nuts. And then what I did is I came in here with a Dremel tool and cleaned up the inside to match the throttle body exactly. This will actually help me out once I mount it in the carbon. When I cut the carbon, I can cut the carbon to match this piece here. So that's all there's to it. I'll mark uh, the top just so I know that's exactly the way that it was. And I'll make sure that that's epoxied in there that way. Getting close, so you can see I've got it all trimmed all around the edge. Uh, it matches that flange, so I just bolted it all together and then just sanded the edge right up to that. So now it looks like a, a legit piece. Got the inside cleaned up, and then I've put that uh, metal backing plate that has the nuts welded to it, and it's been epoxied on there. So. Now, I can uh, pull the throttle body off, we can drill that hole, or I may wait, but it's ready to clear. What I've done is, I've just got some, some 2K Aero uh, spray clear coat. So this is the kind that has the activator on the bottom. And uh, I'll just use this to put a couple coats right on that dry carbon. All right, so here we go. We'll say in this whole process, um, messing with this carbon fiber, the dust is very itchy on your hands. So you probably wanna try to protect your hands the best you can. And obviously you wanna protect your lungs. Anytime you're sanding or cutting, definitely wear a respirator. So I've got the piece pretty well finished. Uh, got it trimmed around the outside like I, like I showed you guys. Got it sanded really well. 
Um, I've got the backing plate in there that's lined up with the throttle body. And the nice thing about that is that when it comes time to cut this hole up front, I just drilled a hole, uh, used uh, like an air saw to kind of roughly get it cut, and then um, just use a like a flap disc wheel, and I just ground away the carbon fiber until it started to uh, get to the metal. And so now, because I know that metal piece matches the throttle body perfectly, now the carbon fiber matches perfectly, and I didn't have to do like a hole saw or nothing like that. So she's ready. I had one little blem on the side that I fixed. So now we're just gonna take it out here to my paint booth, temporary paint booth, because I'm gonna build one one day. I'm gonna set this bad boy right here. We're gonna mix up some of that 2K clear. And got my fingers crossed this works out the way that I want it to. I've never actually used this stuff. Uh, in the past, I've used stuff that wasn't technically as good. This stuff should be really good, good. So throw a couple coats of this stuff on there and hopefully, hopefully that clear pops, pops it and it looks as amazing as I think it will. So stay tuned. So the good thing about this clear is that it lasts, after you basically mix the two parts in the can, the can itself will last 48 hours. So you have, you can put, you know, as many coats on as you want in 48 hours. Once it comes out of the can though, I think that it's gonna set up pretty fast. So first coat's on, we're gonna kinda let it see what it does. We'll kinda check the tackiness. Once it kinda tacks over a little bit, put another coat on, keep, keep rocking and rolling. All right, so snap forward, uh, the clear has dried. And I went ahead and started um, like cutting, cutting the top layer of the clear. A couple reasons, there was uh, some, some like air bubbles, but also just to cut and basically buff this thing. So right now it's gonna give it, because I've cut it, it kind of gives it that dry carbon look. Uh, very kind of dull looking. So you can see these little blims I wanna, get all that stuff cut out but we'll we'll show you uh you can wet this thing right quick and you can kind of get an idea of what we're gonna what we're gonna look like when it's done so that's uh maybe even a little bit shinier than that a little more glossy, but that's kind of what, kind of what you can expect right there. Let me get a better angle. All 
All right, there you go. Homemade carbon fiber intake. It can be done. It's probably not the best thing, but man, it's got a lot of character to it. That's what I like about it. And uh, yeah, when you see this thing in person, when I do like the US tour of the Bibster, you'll be able to see all the little cool imperfections, but it's gonna look sweet. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.